Yeah, hi there. These comments are for uh, Father Javier, and I am Michael. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer of the online TOEFL course, the seven-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT, and you are working on your accent reduction, and you're actually working very diligently. You're doing a lot of work each day, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and listen to... Uh, some of your practice exercises. So if I remember correctly, you're focusing on two different vowel sounds. You have the, the vowel sound in the word mit and then the vowel sound in the word meat. So mit meat. And I'm going to listen to some of your voice recordings right now and to give you appropriate feedback. Lesson 11. All right. Exercise number one. One. In this situation, you recognize that your teacher has a desire to be respected. Perfect. Good. Two. In 1978, the United States Supreme Court declared marriage to be of fundamental importance to all individuals. And try that last word, individuals. Individuals. Three. As a plane uses jet engines, or even a propeller in some cases, to move itself forward, air rushes by the wing. Okay. Four. The pilot must increase engine power, which increases thrust which increases lift over again. Okay. It makes this drop in altitude manual. Okay. Five. Anyone who can read and write can improve the efficiency of their memory. Okay, perfect. Exercise number two. How would you like to have a time machine that could take you back anywhere over the past 300,000 years. Okay. You could see what he, the world was like when ice sheets a thousand feet tight blanketed. A thousand feet thick. That word is thick. Thick blanketed Canada. Canada and Northern Europe. But when the Indonesian volcano TBA blew its stop in the largest volcanic eruption at the last half million years. Okay, not bad. So let's try this one more time. Let's read it together. How would you like to have a time machine that could take you back anywhere over the past 300,000 years? You could see what the world was like when ice sheets, a thousand feet thick, blanketed Canada and Northern Europe. Or when the Indonesian volcano blew its top in the largest volcanic eruption of the last half million years. All right, so I think you're okay. I didn't notice any major problems there. So very good voice recording exercise for you. Uh, all right, let's go back to my um, email here. Uh, I see another message from you today. So you say, I'm sending the first practice of the exercises for lesson number 13. So let's go ahead and download this. Okay, here we go. Lesson 13. And try that. Lesson 13. 13. So you have 1330, 1440, 1550, 1660, 1770, 1880, 1990. All right, let's listen to the first part. Exercise number one. One. The coach should wash the watch before he matches it to the fashion patch. Okay, this one is tough, tough, tough for you. This is a hard one. Okay, let's, let me go ahead and find the... And give me just a second here, so... Okay, here we go. Let's go back to your recording here. Lesson 13, exercise number one. 
one. The coach should wash the watch before he matches it to the fashion patch. Okay, let's try these words. Coach, wash, watch, matches, fashion, patch. So then we say the coach should wash the watch before he matches it to a fashion patch. Two. It is a chore to show the show with the shoes. I would say to show the chow that he wears at the seashore. Not bad. You hate those tongue twisters. <laughs> It's hard, isn't it? But you know what? It practices. It helps you practice the sound. So let's do two again. It is a chore to show the chow with the shoes that it wears at the seashore. Three. She shucks, shapes, shears, and chooses which beans to cash in at the market. Good. Not bad. Four. So let's try these. Shucks, shaves, shears chooses which cash and when you say to cash you don't say to cash in at the market you want to say to cash in at the market so whenever you have a preposition that follows a verb we call these phrasal verbs the phrasal verb should be blended with the actual preposition should be blended with the verb she broke a cheat sheet which matches the test questions in her class. Okay. Five. Sherry likes cherries, cheese, chips, and sheep sherbet. <laughs> this is hard, isn't it? Uh, think about this. I had to create these tongue twisters. I had to come up with them. It was kind of a nightmare to create these sentences. Uh, the, the whole point is to just get used to practicing the sounds, right? Sherry likes cherries, cheese, chips, and cheap sherbet. Exercise number two. To many chicks, the ambition is to show enough wealth so they can live comfortably with their family and not have to worry about how to pay bills on a monthly basis. This definition of sure success can be achieved, but is it by hard work or is it by luck? The answer is neither. Success can be achieved by working smarter, not harder. And luck plays no role in this calculated effort. Okay, let's try that word achieved. Achieved. So let's read the paragraph one more time. To many sheiks, the ambition is to show enough wealth so they can live comfortably with their family and not have to worry about how to pay bills on a monthly basis. This definition assures success can be achieved, but is it by hard work or is it by luck? The answer is neither. Success can be achieved by working smarter, not harder, and luck plays no role in this calculated effort. All right, so I think we have it. So I think overall, your my assessment right now with the CH and the SH, uh, I think generally you understand how to pronounce these words. The one that you probably have to be a little more careful about is that CH, like uh, achieved. That's the one you should be a little more careful on. So keep practicing a little bit there. And uh, from the previous exercise, I think it was okay. The mit, meet, bit, beat. When you were reading the sentences and then doing the paragraph, you seem to have a pretty good ability to differentiate between these two vowel sounds. All right, thank you, Javier, and see you in class today.